In this video, I'm just going to quickly explain how I added uh, a laser module to my CNC router. Um, some other people have done this kind of uh, conversion where they've added laser onto a uh, CNC router, but typically they need to disable their spindle to do it, whereas I'm trying to use some other um, programming techniques um, and the general input output on the uh, controller board uh, to control the laser. So whenever you're using these lasers remember to use uh, safety goggles and uh, the fumes that are given off by laser especially when it's burning into plastics or um, treated timbers uh, is toxic so should be well ventilated area. For the wiring of the laser um, the on my CNC machine, I'm driving um, the spindle off a different port to the um, stepper drivers, so I don't need the onboard relay, which um, is used to control uh, some some spindles on uh, on some CNC setups. So that that gives me a um, relay that I can use for the laser. Um, so, but uh, the relay switching speeds a little slow it's only um, you know 100 milliseconds or something like that so that means that when you want the laser to come off the relay flips and the power is that comes on too late um, a, a way to get by this is to um, use a relay to switch on the uh, the power to the laser so it turns on the driver starts the fan but um, with the PWM ports on the laser module um, you can drive drive the laser by driving one of the pins high and low. Now PWM is a um, pulse wave modulation which means that if it's a uh, if it's it's a square wave and if 50, it's on 50% on and off 50% um, it'll mean that the power of the laser is set to 50%. Because this laser is such low power um, I'm just going to leave it as being uh, like an on signal or an off signal and uh, to change the depth of the engrave or the, the amount of engraving that gets done we'll just modify the feed rate. Uh, this machine isn't connected to the uh, to the CNC router um, but I've just got it here to show how we do the configuration. So over here we can come into um, the output signals and um, it's not done on this one because this is not the machine I'm running but um, basically we'd have two uh, pins so in the on my controller board the um, the relay set on pin one and then I've got my pin uh, like my output three um, that's on pin 14 I believe um, and that's what's driving the PWM signal. So that's how you would configure. Um, obviously you need to adjust that depending on how you wire it yourself. This is my GitHub repository where I've got some of my um, custom M codes for um, Mark III in VB. M301, oh, I'll go back, M301 uh, is what switches the laser relay on. Um, M302 switches the laser relay off. M303 drives the signal for the laser to be on and M304 drives the signal for the laser to be off. So why are there two of these? Again, um, this is the relay so there's a bit of a delay here whereas this one is instantaneous. So I've just subbed them out so um, we have we can switch power on to the laser and then actually fire the laser, um, switch like stop firing the laser and then switch off power to laser so the driver board is still getting power but the laser might be off um, to, so that we can cool the laser. So each of these these are all pretty simple scripts um, basically this one is just activating one of the outputs in this case we've got output 1 which is our uh, relay on the board and then M302 you can see here this is just deactivating the same output M303 here, this is activating our output signal, which I've called output 3, which is, uh, in this case, is uh, connected to the PWM input on the driver board, and this one is deactivating it. So um, 
the real trick here is then uh, the post processor. Now I, I've downloaded this file from um, JTEC Photonics, which sell um, laser conversion kits. So they've got some useful tutorials there if you want to have a look. Um, basically, um, this is a post processing um, file for Aspire. Um, they differ between different CAM um, programs, but this one um, it works for Aspire. And if you load this file into uh, this path where Aspire lives, um, you'll be able to select this when you're picking the post processor of the job. Uh, so basically we've got a bit of a uh, description of the M codes uh, scripts that I just went through and how they're peppered throughout this file. Um, we can see here we've got the beginning header um, of the G code file. So I've just added some comments here, turn on the laser uh, relay. So M301, so power to the relay. Also because the laser's offset from the head of the tool, um, where the head of the tool is typically, we're clearing the offset register and then setting it here, um, and that's hard coded in. You'll need to change that for your own machine if you're um, using this code. Um, so on my machine, my laser's set 252 millimeters offset in the X direction and minus 83.5 millimeters in the Y direction from the head of the spindle. Um, a bit more on ca how I calibrated that later. So down here we've got a, a rapid move. So rapids are done um, without any cutting obviously, so we don't need any M code there for firing the laser. And then feed move, the first feed move. So on the first feed move we've got M303, which means that we're switching on the laser. So the laser's firing in this case. Um, the same with this one. Um, if we don't have a feed rate, but we are moving, we're using the old feed rate, we still need to fire the laser. And the same for clockwise arcs and arc, like uh, counterclockwise arcs. Uh, another clockwise arc and another clockwise arc. And then finally we've got retract moves. So that's when you know the tool, in quotation marks, is coming out of the material. So um, because in Vectric we're going to model this as an engraver, but trick it into, into um, using the laser. Um, and then the final uh, out, uh, final um, closing block for the G-code is our winding down. So we're turning, we stop, we stop firing the laser, turning off power to the re uh, laser, and then we're resetting the coordinates. Um, and then the uh, Z uh, will be brought to home. Um, that might not be necessary. Oh, that's commented out, sorry. So that would be, that's what we're, where we would, um, if we were using a uh, cutting tool, that's where we'd retract the tool to go back to home, and then we return home, and M30 rewinds, rewinds the tape or rewinds the code, so it goes back to the start.